over at Werder Bremen, the atmosphere is less tense, although this promises to be a tough season. We've come to find out more. Time to leave the comfort of a wicker beach chair and meet Bremen coach Robin Dutt. Earlier, he gave up his job as sporting director of the German Football Association to rebuild the Bremen squad. No easy task. The club has faltered badly in recent years and is trying to regain its status as purveyor of high-octane offensive football and re-establish themselves as a fixture in European competitions. So where are Werder Bremen at in 2013? In 2013, Werder Bremen are a club in transition. We want to keep the old traditional values, but we mustn't let them drag us down. Because it's a completely different club now, both in the way it's run commercially and in football terms too. It's no longer the glory days of the Champions League. Now we have a young team and we're playing against other clubs on equal footing. Werder isn't really used to that, but everyone's on board now and moving in the same direction. Images often say more than a thousand words. When I watched Bremen's matches, I get the sense every goal and every victory is like a huge weight off your shoulders. I feel really nervous every time. You always feel tense beforehand, you want to win. It's not like other jobs where you can say in the evening, I've achieved this or that. You have to wait for the weekend. You work all week towards that. And if you win, you feel relieved. The week was worth it, and you achieved what you set out to do. What made you give up the pleasant job as German Football Association sporting director to do this? Every week, the stress, always in the line of fire, always under scrutiny. What was the attraction? Exactly what you just said, the daily praise and daily criticism. I got used to that over the last decade. And yes, you get to the point where you think, do I really need all this criticism? But if you no longer want the criticism, you have to do without the praise as well. Praise and criticism always go hand in hand. And I miss that personally, and I also missed working in a team. You have a lot of experience as a coach. What's most useful for Werder Bremen? I think each job taught me important things. In Freiburg, of course, I learned to work with young talents and to carry the club's training philosophy and also to be resilient. When you're at a position in the table where you don't win anything for weeks. In Leverkusen, I definitely learned to deal with personal crises, coping with no longer being popular and people suddenly not being happy with you anymore. And the year with the German Football Association helped me to see things in a more relaxed way. So each job has played an important role. After three victories and three defeats, what's the mood in the squad? Is there a sense that things are slowly moving forward? Yeah, there's definitely been a noticeable development. We've beaten three teams that are beatable at the moment, and we've lost to three teams where it's no disgrace to lose. It's okay to lose. It's not okay, but it happens. Where do you draw encouragement? The team encourages me, especially their mentality at practice. I get up in the morning and really look forward to coming here. I probably come much too early and leave far too late. Thanks and all the best.